This will be the third time that I've scanned my house. This is gonna be the last time that I scanned my house. Finally, the light outside is about as dim as it can be to match more or less the light inside because we got a nice overcast day. So we got some good texture of different colors of light on all these white walls and we're gonna see how we do. I'm sweating. It's about 900% humidity in here. Okay, so I just did all of the architecture of the house, but I kind of missed a lot of the finer detail on the shelves and things, and those keep bugging out. So what I'm gonna do now is go get the, the shelves. What you really wanna make sure is you've got lots of parallax, so you're moving your body a lot and trying to see around the backs of objects if possible. Computers are stupid. They don't know a box is a box. They think a box is only what you show them. So you gotta show them all the different sides of the box if you want them to build a box. I can't find my little iPhone tripod. And the first rule of photogrammetry is don't move shit once you've started. So you're just gonna have to settle for a nice angle of my butt. The nice thing about doing photogrammetry in summer is you get to then remember what summer felt like when it's winter because you've saved a space in time permanently. The awful thing is that it's hot. It just got too hot. I took my shirt off. Hang on, I'll put my shirt back on. Computers are totally terrible at guessing what an object is. They're just using some very nice fancy math to figure out what the surface of the object might have been. And what that means is that they have no idea that this is a cutting board made of wood. It just knows it's a surface and they'll texture it and make it look like wood, kind of. But that also means there's no idea what's behind it, what the sides look like, unless you tell it. So I just spent a lot of time filming the bottoms of the cabinets because the computer doesn't know their cabinets and it doesn't know what the bottoms might look like. Whereas I've never seen the bottom of the cabinets in my life, but I assume they're made of wood. And yeah, I look and it's wood and so my brain's just feeling that in for me. But photogrammetry is tricky because your brain feels in a lot of shit for you and computers can't do that yet. So make sure you capture all the surfaces that you care about. I know that in the experience I'm building, you're gonna be about this big moving through this house. Uh, and so when you're this big, you're gonna really be able to see the bottoms of everything that you can't see when you're a normal human size. So that's why I'm spending extra effort making sure I capture that. The other thing photogrammetry is terrible at is anything shiny, um, anything made of uh, glass. So this whole shelf is about to be a goddamn nightmare, but we'll make it work. I broke my own rule of photogrammetry. I moved the chair to make it easier to photograph stuff, and then I thought, hey, I should get under the table too. But I'd already moved the chair, so I gotta throw out all those photos. I cannot wait to forget about taking photos of a moved chair and having a software throw a hissy fit and draw the chair half in both places. There's nothing worse than a ghost chair. All right, so walking through the house one last time, I noticed that there's some surfaces that may not have been captured, like 
this inside surface of the Rubik's Cube. So I went and captured that with some photos again. I should give some context too on why this is all set up. For the past two scans in here, I just had the black table, but it's kind of a shiny black table, especially from low angles, which meant the photogrammetry software was freaking out. I had to rebuild the table from scratch. Uh, so I thought, why not just make a little scene here? Lara and I love playing backgammon and drinking cheap boxed rosé, so this is pretty standard. And what this should also do is give the photogrammetry software some more texture to latch onto when it's trying to recreate the scene and hopefully make my work in post um, a lot easier at the same time as you know, the scan I'm doing is supposed to be a homey house that we're living in. It's kind of solving two birds at, at once. It's more truthful and it's better for the software. Now is the stage for putting uh, all the photos on the computer. Capture them in RAW. It's the first time I've done RAW for a while, but in high dynamic range environments, environments where you got like bright windows and dark couches, which iPhones do terribly at, uh, cameras in general do terribly at balancing those two, uh, RAW gives you an extra couple degrees of latitude to play with. So I capture them in RAW, I'll bring them into Lightroom, I'll bring up the shadows, bring down the highlights, export them all as JPEGs, and we'll bring them into Reality Capture to see how we did.